So, back for another VGC guide, and this time we are looking at Bramblegast. I initially thought this Pokemon was not very good at all. And then I saw that the ability gives it plus one attack when Tailwind is activated. That makes it pretty strong. With like, it's, it's got base 115 attack. With a choice band, with the Wind Rider plus one boost, it rivals a Life Orb double-powered Ficious Rend from Dracovish. That's how strong it can get. I did not realize it could get that strong. That's from the power, by the way. Uh, so, yeah, that's... That's significant damage, enough to justify its use on a team. If you're going card tailwinds, then you can definitely put this Pokemon on your team because it's going to do some significant damage. I would not risk the Power Whip, uh, personally. Like, this is entirely usable, but it's high risk, high reward. Phantom Force and Seed Bomb can do very good damage as well. Not quite to the levels of the Dracovish Calcs that it, it was rivaling with Power Whip, but still noticeable damage. Uh, so, pair this with, what, Talonflame, Murkrow, one of those... Any Tailwind Pokemon, basically, but those would be the two main ones, because then you get the priority Tailwinds so that you can get the Wind Rider immediately and just start bopping things that <laughs> most things won't be able to take uh, an unresisted hit from this. I've got the Terra Electric just as coverage here. Uh, Terra Fighting would make sense as well for coverage with Ghost, but uh, this seems pretty reasonable for me, because Power Whip is going to be your main move. It's going to be able to KO a lot of Pokemon, so it's got a significant niche. As in, it does a lot of damage in the Tailwind, uh, which you want to be going for. It makes, like, 90 base speed is perfectly viable for Tailwind as well. So you just want to hit hard with this one. Uh, I saw we got things like Leech Seed and Strength Sap. There's no point. It's box not good enough. This is the thing you want to do. S set the Tailwind up and then hit one, hit one of the hardest moves in the game at this point. Because rivaling Dracovish, that's pretty strong. So this has a solid niche and it will fit onto certain teams that do want to make use of Tailwind.